Hey, what's up guys? Hey, this is David and I am glad you are joining us. If you are looking for Squarespace SEO tips and you're a beginner or you're just starting out, this is a great place to start. I'm going to walk through some tips right now for us that you can use on your website today. Get started. Um, with all of that said, I run the Digital Essentialist, digitalessentialist.com. There you can find a ton of Squarespace resources. There's a bunch of free resources, uh, and there's a few things that you can use, articles and posts that can help you take this to the next level. But for now, let's get into this. So the first thing uh, we're gonna do is, I have this template set up, so there's no SEO work that I've done. So basically, let's, let's hop into this. So the first thing I'm gonna have you do is go to settings, uh, and we're gonna set up a few backend things. This, you just wanna make sure your site is clean. It's a good first step. So go to business information. Once you go into settings, go into business information. From there, fill out all of this. To the best of your ability, fill out all of this. This is just backend stuff, but it's really good because your, your address is here and that may be helpful if people are searching for something specific in your city, things like this. So first of all, put your business name, put your business address, contact phone number, email, physical location. If you don't have a physical location, don't put your home address. That's not what they want. But if you do, put it. Uh, if you have hours of operation, put those as well in here too. Tax registration, I'm not worried about that for SEO purposes. If you want to do it, go ahead, but that's not um, necessary here. And then from there, you want to go in and make sure, go to advanced, a few things that are helpful here, go to SSL, and then turn this on. This is just an extra layer of protection to make sure that your pages, every time your site loads, it is with SSL security. Uh, so boom, that's done. And then anything else here? If you don't have Google Analytics installed, I recommend doing it. All you have to do is go to external API keys uh, and then add the Google Analytics code here. If you want to walk through it, uh, let's see what we could do. Let me see if I could do this really quick. Okay, so it's loading, it's loading, it's loading. So basically, if you wanna create a new account, all you have to do is click on admin. And then once you go to admin, hit create account. And then once you do that, you just basically put the name. So hello business and then website name just to identify it hello business website and then below you put hello website.com select industry all of this you can check this uncheck it once you finish that you just hit get tracking id and then it'll, it'll say basically i'll show you it'll say check this check this you're all good to go so let me close that hit cancel so once you're in here you just put, you just go to tracking info. This is the page that will load once you finish that last step. And once you do that, okay, loading, loading, you'll get this tracking ID. Boom, you just take that tracking ID and then copy it and then paste it right here. Boom, click save, good to go. That's all you have to do, you're done, you're good to go. Uh, there, from there, hit cancel. Boom, you got Google Analytics set up, great. From there, you want to go into your pages uh, and basically this is a complete demo site. So if this is your about page, click on the little settings wheel and make sure this is good. Okay, so first navigation tile about, it could be about us, that doesn't matter. URL slug, make it simple. About, is perfect, that's fine. Uh, page title, now here you can go in and type things in. You can say about um, the hello website located in whatever city or New Jersey or whatever. And then description, you could write some things here, but also there's this new tab that you wanna utilize for all your pages. So basically you wanna add an SEO title and description here. Use keywords that match what people would search. Think about it, go to Google, do some searches. There's other ways to do keyword research like Keyword Planner and other things, but if you just wanna do it the simplest, simplest way, start typing in things here that you think people would search on Google looking for your business. So if you're a social media marketing agency, social media management, social media agency, social media consultant, things like this. You don't have to type it over and over and over and over again in the same heading, but you could type it on different pages that make sense for what your website is and the content and what it is. Cool, so you could do this for every page. If you wanna go above and beyond for social, you can add an image here, so when the page shows up, it shows up with a specific image. 
Cool. So you want to do that for all your pages, go through every single page you have um, and do that. From there, the next thing to look at will be, is it design? Let's do marketing. Marketing first. So now there's this SEO tab. So this used to be in settings. It's now in more in uh, uh, marketing. So the first thing you want to do is SEO title. This is the name of your website. Uh, you could add maybe a little bit of context here. So you could say like, uh, hello website, and then put uh, social media management. It's showing up here, so you might want to adjust that. Site title. <laughs> There's plenty ways you could play with that. If that's showing up and you don't want it, just put the name that makes sense. But basically, we're gonna put we would put a logo here. And if we put the logo here, it would it wouldn't show up. Um, after that, site description, it says up to 400. I take 300 as ideal. Uh, but basically here again, you want to write what the keywords are, or if somebody sees your search results in Google, what they would be looking for. From there, you could go to advanced. Uh, let's hit save. There's a few things here. So here there's these kind of like language of, of, of things. So this like percentage side S will put your website title here. Something you could do here to help is you could just add something here, social media agency, new Jersey. Boom. That is so, so helpful. Here you could do the same thing. You could put this and then put something like social media management or agency again, and then put uh, something like yeah, you could put New Jersey again. Anything here that's keyword related to your business. It, this is where it's kind of hard to describe over over a video with anybody, but basically anything related to your business, you want to have it showing up uh, in the title. And here you have like the title of the website, which you could keep or remove, and then just have the post name and then put um, hello website. Company, uh, New York and New Jersey. Cool. And just like that, that's all done. Great. Those are a few key steps that will help to show up in the title of your website, uh, what you have on your website. Next thing I want to do is once you have Google analytics set up, go to Google, type in Google search console and basically just once you Google search console, just click on the first result. And from here you hit start now. I'm already logged in. So it has a few websites. So basically I will go to davidscander.com. This is kind of just for example. And then you just go to sitemap and basically you just enter in sitemap.xml. With Squarespace, all of this is already created. You don't have to worry about it. So you just type that in, click submit. And what it's going to do is we had 23 discoverable URLs. Sitemap successful, got it. Um, has the website changed over time? Last read, February 5th. Okay, cool. Let me hit refresh. Okay, cool. It's all good. Just submit it. You want to do this every like 30 days as long as you're like updating content on your site. But basically any of the changes I do to the website today will start to show up in Google. Um, this is kind of a manual way of submitting your site to Google to be crawled so they can see it. If you see any errors, go through that, like find out what those errors are. The verification process for this is really straightforward. You just once you're in here, you just go down, hit add a property. You type in the URL. After that, it's going to ask you to verify the site. If it asks you to put code in the site, um, there's a few options, but if you have Google Analytics installed, it'll be so easy. It'll just verify them automatically. If you don't have Google Analytics installed, all you have to do is so, so simple is just there'll be a little bit of code. Take that code, go back to your site, click on settings, click on advanced click on code injection, and then it'll say, put the code in the header of the site and you just drop it right here in the header. Boom. So easy. There's a few ways to do this. So, so if you did it a different way and it's working great, but this is one way to do it, uh, that will get you started. And these few steps are like huge, 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 uh, to get you started on the right foot. A couple recommendations is when you design the site, make sure that your heading one text is the most important text. It's the main text. Don't make heading one like body text. 
So you're writing paragraphs with heading one styling. If that if that doesn't make sense yet, uh, there's a course that walks through all of this that's free. You don't have to pay for it, but it's all in there and you can learn a few things. And these are kind of key steps to really get you started on SEO like today in the next 20 minutes. And if you want the full breakdown, the full course, I really didn't plan this video. I just see so many people talking about SEO and how they want to set up SEO and fix it and make it better and work it out. And they're worried about a lot of things. The course is free. You could take the course. Here's a few steps that you can use. If you have any questions, shoot them at me. Uh, and if you want any kind of services, let me know. I'm not doing this for the services. I just love the power of Squarespace and what you can do with it. So with that, have a great rest of your day. If you have any questions, shoot them below in the comments. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.